Wisconsin released its 2020 season roster on Wednesday, revealing that sophomore Jalen Franklin would be moving from outside linebacker to tight end this season. The one thing we know about Franklin from his high school days in Michigan is that he can run in the open field. You're looking at his high school film here, so his frame is much rawer than it is now, but you definitely see some scary make you miss ability for a kid his size. When he gets downhill, Franklin can just run like a deer. There's not a ton of film of him on the offensive side of the ball, but you do see a little Travis Beckham here as a plus length, athletic ball of clay who shows flashes of being special. Paul Christ is absolutely right when he says Franklin brings a different element to the tight end room. There's not a tight end on the roster with this potential for playmaking ability. The question marks we had about Franklin coming out of high school will still be relevant today, however. Remember, the Badgers originally recruited Franklin as a tight end, and he did spend year one with Mickey Turner before moving to outside linebacker. Franklin played primarily quarterback during his senior season. That said, we really have no idea what type of hands he has. He was also never a kid in high school that was overly physical at the point of attack. He relied on his athleticism on the edge. Can he bulk up, play with his hand in the dirt, and do the blocking on the interior that UW requires of its tight ends in the run game? Even though Franklin was expected to be in the two deep this season at outside linebacker, I think he can impact the tight end room in 2020. He's now listed at 220 pounds. Remember, UW essentially played with one tight end throughout the 2019 season and went to a lot more three and even four wide receiver sets. With AJ Taylor and Quintez Cephas now gone, I would assume the Badgers return to more of their traditional style with two and three tight end sets. The one area Franklin can impact Wisconsin right off the bat are those tight end screens, in my opinion. Chris is a genius at setting those up. I think Franklin would be an outstanding option there and have a chance to hit a few home runs while catching the defense off guard. I think it's still to be determined if this move is actually permanent for Franklin. Remember, he was considered one of the brightest young stars on Wisconsin's defense last season. However, I don't think Chris is bringing him over to the offensive side of the ball just to sit around and wait his turn. With fall camp close to the media this season due to COVID-19 restrictions, we probably won't know where Franklin actually is on the depth chart until week one against Illinois.